finishing up round one of the Richmond Regional here at TBT 2019. We've saved the best for last. It's the two seed Ram Nation and the seven team DRC in front of the home crowd here at the Siegel Center. Glad you stayed for a nightcap with us folks. Matt Martucci, the former Liberty Flame, Tim Scarborough, and plenty of reasons to stay. You look at this atmosphere, the band is here, it's loud, the basketball has been good, and we're just getting started. Well, this is the nightcap to what was a terrific first night in Richmond. It was everything we expected. Overseas Elite dominated their game. The other games were very close. I expect this one to be very close as well. Now, Ram Nation is literally playing on their home floor, which is obviously an advantage, but we've seen around TBT. The home court doesn't mean as much as it does in the regular season in, in NCAA. On one end of the bracket, Overseas Elite, the only team that has beaten this Ram Nation team in TBT. Will there be a rematch? Well, this is step one to try and get there. Winner gets what would be the web after the 94-93 win over the Green Machine. And the Team DRC managed by that man, Dominique Rogers Cromarty. And don't get too excited, he's not playing, he's nope. just wearing a jersey. At currently uh, in camp with the Washington Redskins. Their GM, Danny Long, uh, couldn't be here tonight. Their assistant GM, Anthony Fatou, is on the bench. And what's overall their second year competing at TBT. Dominic Rogers Cromartie, though now donning burgundy and gold. And playing for the Redskins, hence the burgundy and gold colors. And you know, this team, DRC, is in its second year in terms of the name, but not many guys are left from last year's group. Kenny Brown and Keith Clanton being a couple, but the rest of these guys have kind of been put together. As you see, the Ram Nation team profile, VCU alumni, which is obvious because it is loud in here as they're doing the introductions right now. The fourth time in TBT, the prior three years they lost to Overseas Elite each time. And this atmosphere mir mirrors what you would expect for a home game here at Siegel Center. Pretty much a, a roster comprised almost entirely of VCU players with two or three exceptions. Those exceptions are difference makers though, particularly Reggie Williams, the VMI star, retired as the all-time leading scorer in Big South history. I watched his whole career when I was covering Liberty. And I can tell you, as a freshman, you knew that guy had an opportunity to become an NBA player. He played for the Golden State Warriors for many years. Averaged 15 points a game his rookie year. So he's a guy that just knows how to get buckets. Got that James Harden type style, left-handed. You see his profile there, led the NCAA in scoring. The junior and senior. Still yeah, they, playing, still got it. They have plenty of options. They, it was an even deeper team, but they go about 11 or 12, which sometimes, as we often talk about, can be a blessing and a curse in this TBT field. Yeah, and, and I think for this particular group, it was a curse in the old overseas elite games. I think about last year in particular in Atlanta, and they had some great players. I mean, great players. Deontay Weber and, you know, Bradford Burgess, Jordan Burgess, I should say, um, Melvin Johnson, the guys that made their careers here and are professional players, a well a simple team in terms of talent, but not necessarily in terms of blending the talent. And, you know, as you see Dario Hunt take the floor, I think he's a great addition, number four, for them as well as Jaquan Lewis, number one, who did play here at BCU. Those guys are going to be stabilizing factors if they're going to make this run at $2 million. Team DRC, the burgundy and the gold. The black and the gold for Ram Nation. So I have to get an early opinion. Yeah, you're nay on the Ram Nation uniforms. I'm going to go nay, but that's just me. It's a no for me too, dog.
the white numbers aren't exactly the easiest either. <laughs> the good thing we know these guys, huh? Speedy Smith, number four for DRC, Conference USA, standout at Louisiana Tech. Kenny Brown, number one for DRC. He was terrific last year for them. A very good closer down the stretch. Keith Clanton, the post, number 33 right there. Another big player for them, quite literally. Not even a minute in here at Wade Arena at Siegel Center. Evans, non-VCU, but there's Hunt, who's another one of the ringers on this Ram Nation roster. Played his college ball at Nevada. So Dario Hunt getting it started. Bounce game for Brown. It's a team DRC squad that's familiar with winning tournaments down in Florida. A lot of money tournaments. Touchdown. But Williams <laughs> makes it for nothing. That was a touchdown pass right there. Playing against DRC. He knows a little something about that. And they give it right back. Take a look at this pass right here by Brandon Rozell. Great delivery. Great finish by Richie Williams. And talking to GM Matt Shelton I before this one and the week leading up to this, yeah. said Reggie Williams has been on another level in his preparation. And the find nearly had Hunt, who just couldn't finish. Dario Hunt, we talked about him being a difference maker with this group. Great pass right there, and man, you hate to smoke away an opportunity early like that. Just use, use the window, right? Yeah, or, or dunk, it, uh, dunk it, which he certainly can. Brown setting up Clanton. Not a soft enough touch for his size. Hunt in transition, wanted it himself, and gives it away again. And Clanton hit on the arm. Dominic Rogers, Cromartie's father, Stanley. Serving as Team DRC's head coach. Keith Clanton, a guy who's gotten a, a decent amount of press at TBT over the years. Block shots leader, averaged more than two with him a contest in last year's field. He played for that Pedro's Posse team a, few, a couple years ago. Team crossover. Second year with Team DRC. So he's a familiar face and there he is with the tap Clayton gets DRC on the board everyone can always use a big that can do the things that Keith Clanton can do let's go Rams the champ Evans nearly lost it setting up Williams <laughs> he's got NBA reigns he's got NBA game great knockdown for the VMI star and Brown stepped out of bounds. And Kenny Brown turns it over. But this last possession, Evans with the save. They left Reggie Williams open. A no-no. This is another guy you don't want to leave open. Brandon Rozell, terrific three-point shooter. He's streaky. And he's had some really big moments on this floor as a VCU Ram on that 2011 team, Final Four team. Smith setting up Jason Burnell. That's, that's what Kenny Smith has done his whole career. He's Speedy Smith, I should say. He can really push and transition and deliver. Williams picking up right where he left off. Eight early for Reggie Williams. And Brown quieting the crowd momentarily. Yeah, and they're going to have to deal with this crowd, but you know, these guys are professionals. They understand you don't always get to play at home. Dario not even being guarded. A rough start for Dario Hunt. Brown, and again. Five for Kenny Brown. 
downtown. Kenny Brown getting it done right now. And now Evans with the charge. So Team DRC, after being down 7-2, to two, on a little bit of a 7-3 run here. And it's pretty solid defense. Lewis is right there. But Kenny Brown says you need to get a little bit closer, son. And Justin Toyo into the game now, number five. Played one year at BCU and then transferred to Chattanooga. And Will Wade got that job. A really good defensive player. Three-time defensive player of the year in the Southern Conference. Quincy Ford newly in, missed that jumper. Evans, nice drop off. And again, trouble finishing. Toyo, second chance. And out of bounds off of Evans. And then Ram Nation has had some opportunities to not only hit buckets and close, but get the crowd to erupt. And they've not delivered. Now just over four minutes left here in the first quarter. Ram Nation. Thanks to Reggie Williams. Off to what's a good start. Just having trouble finishing around the cup. Wireless network claims are so confusing. America's most reliable network, the nation's largest and most reliable network. The best network is even better. Best, fastest, best, enough. Sprint's doing things differently. They're offering a new 100% total satisfaction guarantee. I mean, I think Sprint's network and savings are great, but don't just take my word for it. Try it out and decide for yourself. Switch to Sprint and get both an unlimited plan and one of the newest phones included for just $35 a month. You'll see some of the most original and colorful TBT uniforms this tournament, so be sure to check them all out over at tbtgear.com and treat yourself to some great-looking TBT apparel. Now, plenty of VCU apparel up in the stands. Ram Nation with the early one-point lead, finishing off round one here at the Richmond Regional. Rodney Ram. They, they can't get out in front of themselves, though. They're, they're a little hyped up. They've missing, missed a few layups. But you have to be careful with this DRC team. They have some talent in this group, guys who are winners. Kenny, Speedy, Smith, Claxton, and Brown in this starting lineup, and they bring solid contributors off the bench as well. Spurlock. With the shot clock inside of 10. Able to get a fresh possession. And beat him on the drive. But again, both teams having some trouble finishing at the rim. More than halfway gone in the first quarter. And Speedy Smith nearly off to the races. Foul on Rozell. Brandon Rozell got bumped. But again, this is grown man basketball here at TBT. They're not calling those bumps. You gotta play strong with the ball or you lose it and they're not gonna call a foul. And now Darius Theus, who's an assistant coach, has stepped into the game number 10. And a part of Mike Rhodes' staff handling player development now here at VCU. He was, I believe he was down with Shaka down in Texas for a little bit and came back up here. Joey Rodriguez coaching along with Eric Maynard. Now just a little bit of ECU history there. Nice move. Oh, he is right sent, sent away by Clanton, but got him with the body. And Clanton certainly is a rim protector. Nothing easy here. Solid block, but his momentum carried him into Darius Theus, and Theus, the coach, goes to the line. And when, when Theus was on staff here a couple years ago, and I was doing a game, and I called him a ploach, because he was still playing. And he was on the scout team. Player coach. Player coach, exactly. Player, you know, ploach. And, and, and nobody on the team could guard him. 
and he was quite literally toying with those guys. It was kind of funny to watch. He would just score and then look at me and like, yeah, I know you still got it, bro. I see you. Yeah, he didn't lose much in four years. 111 career wins for Darius Theus. Yeah, quite a career. Brown got bailed out with the shot clock winding down. And uh, one of their late additions to that roster, Kerwin Roach, the NIT's most outstanding player, who played at Texas. Actually, Darius Theus was part of the reason that yeah. they were able to call Kerwin Roach and try and get them on their roster. Try and get him on their roster. Clanton, and again, everything but the finish. A lot of in-close shots from both teams here in the early going. Those are baskets you're going to want to have down the stretch. Great pass by Reggie Williams. DRC 0 for its last five. And Ram Nation, conversely, an over three-minute field goal drought. Reggie Williams from Prince George County. Local product. Great delivery. But the foul forced. Justin Toyo would have had a certain dunk. And Toyo would have been wrapped up in a bear hunt there. <laughs> All you could do, you want to get posterized. Roach gave it away. That's good defense by Trap. Brown off the setup from C Speedy Smith. And Williams knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. In case you're wondering, maybe you could see it, maybe you can't. One of the two sh permanent shot clocks here not working. So they have the portable to the left of this basket. Ford getting involved. Quincy Ford, who once played summer league with both the Jazz and the Hawks. His college basketball at Northeastern and gives DRC now its first lead of the game. They're on an 8-1 run. And this building has reflected that. It's been awfully quiet here despite it being a pretty decent crowd. Brown lost it out of bounds. Self-inflicted wounds for Team DRC, their third turnover. Ram Nation is very fond of number 34, about to check into the game, Jamie Skeen, another late addition. I think they had to raise some money to, to get him on the roster. Yeah, had to pay the $1,000 fee for the late ad. He just wanted Skeen, just didn't quite roll enough, let him too much. Now more than three minutes. This Ram Nation field goal drought. Williams trying to change that. Got the quick hands. Oh, that was even quicker hands, though. And Ford ran it down. And definitely just turned it over. <laughs> Here's Joey Rodriguez. Joey Rod, J-Rod, assistant coach at Florida International, FIU, Conference USA. And more than 1,300 career points on the VCU roster. Final four participant as well. He got to learn the game playing behind Eric Maynard as a youngster. And he shined when it was his time. Roach picking up where he left off at the NIT. Nice to have young legs and young energy on your roster. Just a well put together team, this Ram Nation. But we've seen well put together teams go home early. This TBT is not for the faint of heart like we said earlier. Final six seconds here in the first quarter. Ford, good look. And his second three ends up beating the buzzer. And Team DRC in the Ram Nation's house. Ending this first quarter despite the efforts of Williams with what's a one point lead. My body is truly powerful. 
I have the power to lower my blood sugar and A1C. Because I can still make my own insulin. And Trulicity activates my body to release it, like it's supposed to. Trulicity is for people with type 2 diabetes. It's not insulin. I take it once a week. It starts acting in my body from the first dose. Trulicity isn't for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it, you or your family have medullary thyroid cancer, or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, or severe stomach pain. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, belly pain, and decreased appetite, which lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I have it within me to lower my A1C. Ask your doctor about Trulicity. Now you can never tell if Rodney Re the Ram looks concerned or not. <laughs> the expression doesn't change. One point lead for Team DRC to start the second quarter here in Richmond. And day one of this regional, Tim Scarborough with predictions that could go right, although the top one there, Mike Morrison for Green Machine. Yeah. I'm not sure about that one. That worked, that worked for you. <laughs> you still got Deshaun, still got DJ, Justin, I'm good with those. And then that man right there, Reggie Williams, I think. I'm in good shape for my all regional team. And you can't go wrong putting two overseas elite players on there. Although, that West Virginia team, they had a lot of really good players who um, could be on that team. By the That's way, really I, I'm matchup. not sure they have your Telestrator turned on because it showed up on that monitor. But I don't think uh, the folks at home saw it. Oh, wow. Turn my Telestrator on. I'm over here having a great old time draw drawing, though. <laughs> I could see that. And not available until Sunday, I guess. Ford, again, that was the end of the quarter where he knocked down the three. Yeah, he's been, he's been solid. Largest lead for Team DRC moves to three. Roach, good setup for Theus, wide open. Cash money from downtown Richmond. Credit Roach with an assist. And Speedy Smith is the kind of guy that Darius Theus loves to guard because he's got good handles, great handles, and Darius is up to the task most times defensively. But at the other end, this was a great pass which led to a wide open Darius Theus three, which gets his engine going a little bit more at the defensive end. A little overzealous picked up that person. They'd like to work <laughs> forward that's right a, in the middle of the post. That is a great inbounds entry, though. A post entry from inbounds, you rarely get to see those kinds of passes. Great delivery by Smith. Ten now for Quincy Ford. Skeen, one and done. Jamie Skeen, another one from that 2011 tournament team, Final Four. So many steps for Speedy Smith. He transferred in and became an instant favorite. Keep Clanton back in. Team DRC confident, and why shouldn't they be? Experience in this tournament before, but in talking to their GM, Danny Long, on the phone the other day, felt like they could come in here and maybe win this thing, win which, this region at which least. Is, which is... Uh, Amazing when you consider their first game is against the home team. A team that has only lost the overseas elite. So you have to really believe in your group to say you're going to win the region. You have to beat maybe Ram Nation and overseas elite to do so. Bradford Burgess had to change that shot at the other end. Trap off of the bench, missed the first attempt. Assassin, second one. Jackson Trap from Florida Atlantic. Another Conference USA player. Yeah, I was asking Danny Long about closers on his roster. Trap was one of the guys that he mentioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Little known fact, Jackson Trapp shooting coach is a teammate of mine, Charles Richardson, out of Florida. Oh, wow. Roach running the floor in transition. 19 apiece, tied again. Five for Kerwin Roach, good addition to this Ram Nation roster. And there's something you don't see Speedy Smith do a lot of shooting pull-up threes like that. He can, but he'd much rather deliver. Skeen's second perimeter look. Still unable to deliver. Now he, he doesn't look comfortable shooting it though, right? And he's a really good three-point shooter. Four different players from Ram Nation have scored. Four from DRC. Clanton, look at that wheel getting to the basket right around Skeen. He'll go to the line. That last move would have gotten most post defenders. When he wheels back around, watch this. When he comes back that way with speed and authority, Skeen tried to stay with him, but really couldn't quite recover. That was a pretty solid post move by Clanton. If it were up uh, to the folks at Team DRC, the resume for Keith Clanton at the top would read, best big man not in the NBA. Yeah. They're really high on his game. And at 6'9", he plays more like the seven-footers in that league. But 6'9", guys in that league are perimeter players now. Sometimes 6'11", or seven-foot, Kevin Durant. Though not a good free throw shooter. Clanton. Entry did not make any of his attempts in last year's tournament. Hunt, second chance. After another missed layup, finally able to convert. Dario Hunt. Dario just needed to settle down a little bit. He was really jacked up in the first part of this game. Nice move, big fella. Clanton able to stop that body on a dime. That's not easy. He's got anti-lock disc breaks. <laughs> <laughs> he has got him up in the air. And Travel. shuffled the feet, did Evans. Sixth Ram Nation turnover. And, and when they assembled that team last year, and the reason I said they had too many guys is because they had so many good players. Down the stretch in Atlanta, when they were trailing against overseas elite it was almost hard to figure out who you wanted to put on the floor and which combination and then you start over substituting because of that trying to find that right combination and then no one can really get get it going offensively or any kind of a rhythm so it becomes kind of a burden and then trying to keep all those really good players happy that's hard to do Rozelle again empty trip Clanton running the break with Ford Somehow got it over the rim. 12 now for Quincy Ford. Have you driven a Ford lately? <laughs> Apparently they have. Jaquan Lewis back into the game after Theus sat down. All good shots though, they're just not falling. But you know, that, that's kind of, uh, we've seen that in this building. They hang their hat on the defensive end and electricity. And you just don't feel that right now. Evans going to change that right now. That'll help. Chris Evans, who finished up his career at Kent State in college, brings us back to another tie, the fourth one of this game. Nice leak out. But Patterson, number 22, just checked into the game as the point guard has to make sure no one gets behind him. Yeah, almost a free safety as well. Timeout on the floor. Chris Evans trying to breathe some life back into the Seagull Center. Wireless network claims are so confusing. America's most reliable network, the nation's largest and most reliable network. The best network is even better. Best, fastest, best, enough. Sprint's doing things differently. They're offering a new 100% total satisfaction guarantee. I mean, I think Sprint's network and savings are great, but don't just take my word for it. Try it out and decide for yourself. Switch to Sprint and get both an unlimited plan and one of the newest phones included for just $35 a month.
Now this might look a little bit deceiving. The winning share sent with Zell for Ram Nation. If you're looking at $100,000 and thinking, well, that, that amount is a little bit low, GM Matt Shelton Ive told us that they actually have $500,000 set aside for performance bonuses. Yeah, so, and I like that. Uh, yeah, I do too. There's a little bit more incentive maybe for some guys to make a little bit more as they get deeper into this. And you, you can divide nothing up any way you want until you get that money. It's nothing. I forgot to ask him, what what is the performance bonus if you happen to end up in the regional final and it's overseas elite and you finally get them over the hump yeah, with, with and, the Elam and, ending. And the Elam ending win, game winning shot. You gotta be careful with that because everyone's gonna try to take it. Yeah, that's you imagine true. you put a bounty on that shot, how many bad shots you're gonna get. <laughs> it would be Everline <laughs> Drive and Team Utah yeah. all over again. <laughs> we don't want to relive that. Clanton spins it in plus the foul. Keith Clanton proving to be a handful tonight. Well, oh, he's he's got a weight and size advantage inside. They've got Justin Toyo, Jamie Skeen, even Dario Hunt are, are tall players, but none of them have the girth of Clanton. Team DRC back in front. Hasn't led by more than three the entire game. Dario Hunt set a head-hunting screen. He popped Burnell right in the face. That was an easy call. Hunt sits down, a couple of personal fouls on him. He's got to regroup, just having a rough day. He does have five rebounds. They are deliberately going into the paint with Claxton. And boy, has he been coming up big. Nearly couldn't convert that one, but they turn it over. See if they set him up again. Nice pass. And the drop off oh, for Burnell. That fooled everybody. Patterson with a dime. Jason Burnell finished up college ball at Jacksonville State after starting at Georgia Southern. Rozell with a quick answer. Let's see if that gets Brandon Rozell going. He missed his first couple of shots from downtown, got himself a little floater, and he's a streaky guy. When he gets it going, this place erupts. Clanton and Toyo. Still no double, though, Tooch. And just too easy for the big fellow. No, you're not going to double him. He's just going to Magic Johnson you. Back, back, back. Okay, I'm a foot from the bucket. I'll just drop it in. Williams, who had eight of the first ten, but has not scored since for Ram Nation. Let's see if they let the big fella go down to the block again. Two-man game, Kenny, Kenny Brown and Clanton. Coming toward the final two minutes of the first half, nice. Brown. Oh. And the Division II sensation gives Team DRC a new largest lead. And a timeout for Ram Nation. So Kenny Brown. Out of little known Ferris State, spearheading a 13 to four run. DRC in command. It's tough to quit smoking cold turkey. So Chantix can help you quit slow turkey. Along with support, Chantix is proven to help you quit. With Chantix, you can keep smoking at first and ease into quitting. Chantix reduces the urge so when the day arrives, you'll be more ready to kiss cigarettes goodbye. When you try to quit smoking, with or without Chantix, you may have nicotine withdrawal symptoms. Stop Chantix and get help right away if you have changes in behavior or thinking, aggression, hostility, depressed mood, suicidal thoughts or actions, seizures, new or worse heart or blood vessel problems, sleepwalking, or life-threatening allergic and skin reactions. Decrease alcohol use. Use caution driving or operating machinery. Tell your doctor if you've had mental health problems. The most common side effect is nausea. Quit smoking, slow turkey. Talk to your doctor about Chantix. And now a seven point lead for Team DRC. And Tim Scarborough, I think you, you might have thought this could happen. 
I certainly did think it could happen. You know, we, we talked about the, the seedings, but this is not your ordinary seven seed. This DRC team is loaded. Kenny Brown and Clanton, Keith Clanton in particular, are guys who know how to play in TBT in particular, and they're guys who know how to play this game. They're well coached. They have a lot of talent on that group. And conversely, there's a lot of pressure on Ram Nation being the home team. Williams wants it himself and draws the foul on Tristan Spurlock. Just like Clinton at UCF, a couple of former teammates. What a change in that program, huh, under Johnny Dawkins? Very true. Williams, and now we'll go back to the line. <clears throat> Although having Taco Fall Taco certainly Fall, didn't, yeah. didn't hurt. Wow. I, th I think Taco Falls would end up being a pretty solid bro. What do you think about it? Somebody had actually just tweeted about running into him at, uh, I think it was maybe the Champions League soccer match. How do you know it was him? No, I'm well, just yeah, that, well, that was exactly how somebody else responded. <laughs> are, are, you, sure? are you sure? Are you yeah, sure it's him? Yeah. He's only 7'6". Is he 7'6"? Yeah. And, since, and UCF was so close to upsetting Johnny Dawkins' alma mater, Duke, a tip in away from sending Zion Williamson and company home a little bit earlier than they did. And UCF, not a, exactly a fan favorite for VCU, ended up matched up with Taco in the first round of the tournament. Ram Nation now going zone. Brown, it's catch and shoot. Oh, Look at that pass. find, Patterson and Clinton. Patterson has delivered two dimes off the bench, both more spectacular than the last one. One of the emotional leaders of this DRC team. New largest lead, now up eight. And Evans not happy with some of the treatment he's getting in the lane. It felt like he was being grabbed, and he took issue with it. But right before that, that was a great touch pass by Patterson to Clinton. Tyshawn Patterson, one of the smaller guys on the floor, only 6'1". North Greenville University, this is where you learn about some of these guys and, and realize that there's good basketball all over the place. That yeah. just because you didn't play D1, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You know, and it's the same with guys like Reggie Williams as Evan shoots an air ball. That's our third air ball tonight. It's what is going on in this building. Well, it started after. From the free throw line. It started when Jawan Staten got hurt in yeah. that first game. He's and the only one with an excuse, though. Yeah. He had a, a hurt hand, and you wonder if he's even play tomorrow and that best Virginia team is going to need him by the way John Dre Jefferson had the second yeah one. JJ from overseas elite overseas yeah. elite so both those teams won by the way so is that an omen maybe that's a good omen maybe Ram Nation can get it going Patterson oh. says no <laughs> Friday night deposit oh my goodness a kiss from straight on wow Double-digit lead now as we wind down the second quarter. Ooh. Toyo couldn't finish. Brown, Patterson running the floor. Give him five straight. Team to... DRC by 12. Joey Rodriguez may need to think about another timeout. You hate to spend them, but now it's only eight seconds left, so you're going to let it play out. But they need to get to halftime quickly. Williams trying to send them there. And can't get the rank. Team DRC dominant in the paint. 12 of their 17 field goals. And overall, what's 39 first half points? Uh, not a whole lot of reason to headbang. Well, maybe for other reasons. If you're Ram Nation, down double digits. Stats and highlights coming here in Richmond.
Finishing off the night here in our Richmond region, round one of TBT and Team DRC. And so far, what could be the surprise of this region, a 12-point halftime lead on Ram Nation. Courtside here at the Siegel Center, what's normally loud, uh, a lot of fun for the home crowd, not so much here. Ram Nation a half away from maybe going home early. Well, don't count them out yet because they are here and they can get it going in terms of the energy in the building, but they haven't given this group a lot to cheer for. Not a lot of offense, not a lot of flow. It started early on when they were missing close shots, and then they had to take tougher shots, and that just kind of snowballed, and here we are. They're down 12 at home, but a lot of time, a whole second half to play. And ended up coming out with plenty of energy. Reggie Williams got them started early on, and you thought maybe they could build something to run away with this. Yeah, and Reggie Williams is the guy that's going to have to carry him but his shoulders aren't wide enough to get them past a team like DRC. Early, he got it going, but then this DRC team kind of put the clamps on Reggie. They made it tough on him for most of that second quarter. And then offensively, look at this pass from Speedy Smith right into the post by Quincy Ford. Quincy had a couple of knockdowns, and then Kenny Brown got into the act. Going off the dribble here, they wanted to run two-man game. They overplayed the post, so Kenny Brown took advantage, slicing to the rim, making it look easy right now. A lot of flow to Dominic Rogers from Marty's group. And Team DRC all smiles. Can they close in the second half is the question. Here in front of the home crowd of Ram Nation. Getting ready to start the second half here in our Richmond Regional. Uh, TBT 2019, Team DRC up 12 on Ram Nation. Now one of four regions going on today. Salt Lake City just really getting started tonight. Everline Drive moving on and right now uh, down by four to the LA Cheaters who ended up with a dunk to finish their Elam ending yesterday. And Team Fredette and Challenge ALS still to come. Looking forward to seeing uh, round two of Rob Gray for Team Fredette. Yeah, Rob Gray is a special, special player. Probably should be on the NBA roster. Certainly is good enough. But in the meantime, he's getting it done for Team Fredette. And that Rob Gray versus Jerome Randall matchup worth the price of a mission, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, let's hope it hope it maybe gets to that point. I, I, I don't know if it will. Now, Reggie Challenge. Williams hoping that his team isn't done. Had eight of the first ten points, but has only scored one since. Ram Nation only 33% from the field. And, and normally, you'd say, you know, you gave a 50% and you're only down 12. But the problem is, I think it's on the offensive end for Ram Nation. Defensively, they're not doing that bad. They're, they have some things they can clean up, but there's no flow to their offense. And defensively, this is not havoc being run in here. They're not going to pressure DRC and just score off of their defense. They need some offensive productivity. They have to hit the shots that they're getting that are easy near the rim. A lot of misses from Hunt and others and then they need to get Reggie Williams going again but they can't do that without someone else stepping up first. I was just going to ask you do you, do you draw up a play specifically for Reggie Williams on no. your first possession? No need to do that because Reggie's going to get his points organically. I, you know I watched him play at VMI I don't know if they ran a lot of stuff for him he just knows He's just how, that good. To, how to score. Yeah I mean they certainly did run sets for him but it wasn't like every play let's get the ball to Reggie. They ran their continuity Reggie scored on him. Dominic Rogers Cromarty, who's been well traveled across the NFC East over his career. Eagles, Giants, and now the Redskins. I know I used to like him, and now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. <laughs> no. I actually don't mind the Redskins of all the teams in the Eagles division. 
because, you know, obviously we all don't like that team down in Texas, and we certainly don't like the Giants. But the Redskins, I used to live in the Redskins country, so I got to know those guys. And Reggie Williams gets it started for Ram Nation. Uh, you said scored organically. He did. They didn't run a set for him. Into, into double figures now, 12 for Reggie Williams. But DRC coming into our territory now as, as a basketball guy, and all these football guys think they can play basketball. I'd like to see him shoot. He's got a uniform on. I'd like to see him get in the game, but that's not going to happen because he's in training camp here in Richmond. And now, oh, that could have been an opportunity. And Clinton makes sure it's not. Second chance for him and back up double digits. He's got to like what he's seeing so far from the guys that are wearing his initials on the front of their chest. And he had the DRC chain. He has it tucked in now. Uh -huh. do, do you have a Martucci chain? I was just going to ask you, do you, do, do you have the TS for Tim Scarborough? I got Scar, S-C-A-R. Do you really own a chain? No. I was going to say, I was going to say, we've worked together for a while. I've never seen that. No, you never will. So people think Scar is the villain in Lion King, but Scar is me. I'm Scar. I was the first Scar. Best voice ever, original Lion King, Jeremy Irons. Yeah, have you seen the new Lion King? I, I have not. I heard uh, that it was disappointing, but I think because people had expectations that it would be exactly like the first movie, which is kind of redundant. Why would you go see a movie you already saw? Well, speaking of expectations, as Speedy Smith draws the foul, a rather subdued building here at the Siegel Center. They have not had a lot to cheer about. This DRC team has taken this crowd and this Ram Nation team out of it. No flow at the offensive end. A lot of people sitting on their hands right now with grimaces on their faces. Speedy Smith creating, setting up Brown mid-range. And they energy. continue to hit the offensive yeah. glass. Smith finally recovers the dribble, Ooh. just can't finish. And a blocking foul on the Louisiana Tech product, Kenneth Speedy Smith. A lot of speed on that court with Jaquan Lewis and Speedy Smith. This is this is a a 60 mile per hour collision right there. Yeah, Rex, Chap Rex Chapman's blocker charge. That's a block. Yeah, that's that's a block. I don't think you could turn your shoulder into somebody and take a sh take a charge. Toyo cleaning up the glass. Toyo so long, six foot nine, six ten, getting up and getting a putback, and even that didn't really get the crowd into the game. Seventh member of Ram Nation to score, but Clanton's footwork just too much. Yeah, Keith Clanton is the truth in in this tournament. He's going to be, if they advance, he's going to be a guy you got to start thinking about. And uh, affecting it at both ends, gets the block. Ford on the run out, but Evans with the strip back. And able to get by Ford and draw the contact. Quincy Ford's second one and the third team foul. Well, you have to know there's a run coming. It's just a matter of when it's coming for Ram Nation. I agree, but it's going to really have to be someone besides Reggie Williams. And Toyo maybe could be that guy. Draws contact. Justin Toyo. His career path in terms of sports took a different trajectory at age nine. Ended up losing his father in a car accident, had primarily been a baseball player. And then that accident happened during baseball season. And it soured him, obviously, on the idea of wanting to play baseball going forward. But one of his goals as a professional basketball player was in Italy and Argentina this year, wants to make sure that he can take care of his mom so she never has to work again. A noble goal, isn't it? We all want to take care of our mothers. Well, just turned 25 a month ago, Justin Toyo. And as 
all four of his points here in the second half. And just like that, Damnation Nation back to within single digits. Toyo was on my plane on my way up here this week. It's about to get loud in the Siegel Center. That's good defense right there. The jump, Speedy Smith, Clanton, Toyo with the recovery, punched it off the glass. Here they come. But Smith stole it back. But Toyo, the instant energy, lined him up. Six straight for Justin Toyo. And they're within seven. A little havoc light. And it was haphazard at times. But in the end, it's this guy right here swinging on the rim. And these people love to see guys in those uniforms swinging on the rim. Ram Nation, thanks to that guy, Justin Toyo, climbing back into this. transferring, ended up following Will Wade down to Chattanooga. But they're certainly glad he's back. The last six for Toyo. And Team DRC's lead cut down to seven. Matt Martucci, Tim Lock. Scarborough. And a foul on Kerwin Roach. You can actually thank the Charlotte Hornets for Kerwin Roach being here. Supposed to have a, a summer league deal. That ended up falling through. And they're now headed over to Europe. But part of the reason that they were, in fact, able to get him. But was very excited to come here after the phone call to, from Matt Shelton Ide and Darius Theus. They really hope it starts to pay immediate dividends. There's a real sense of urgency here. And they finally double Claxton. Clanton. And, and they come up with a steal. And who else? Theus. Theus fouled him right there. <laughs> but they ain't calling that. Keep hacking. Ninth turnover. Razel. Talk about the lid about to erupt off this building. That would have brought it down ton of basketball more than nine minutes and then a dead ball until our Elam ended Clanton again the separation the help was a little bit late and Clanton had to literally take the hand off of the defender was holding his hand he had to extract his arm just to even shoot that ball they are not calling those things 17 now for Keith Clanton. Roach right down the alley nice. and his response. They are doing this without the services of Reggie Williams right now. Set to check in. Ford got him up in the air and got the friendly bounce. And Ford has had a solid game here. Quincy Ford and Keith Clanton and Kenny Brown, along with Speedy Smith, have really gotten it done for this team DRC group. Great job of being there when Brandon Rozelle catches it. Don't let him catch and shoot. You can let him catch and shoot. Toyo has shown the ability to hit that. Reggie Williams has been waiting forever to check back into this game. No dead balls for which to do so. Crowd is back into it here at Siegel. 
Shot clock down to six. Good help D by Roach. And big shot for Burnell with the shot clock expiring. Huge shot. They had nothing. That was a great defensive segment. But back coming the other way, Darius Diaz. But they only get a two for a three. And now they're down 10 still. Smith Body. lost it, but there's a reason. Bodies are flying. Now Team DRC had the big lead at the break. It hasn't changed much. Still double digits thanks to Jason Burnell. Clutch situation. Me and the guys walk into this place. Now you would have thought from the name of it, it's going to be packed with sailors. So I immediately picked out the biggest guy in there, and I walked straight up to him. Now he looks me square in the eye, and I swear he says, Welcome to Navy Federal Credit Union. <laughs> Whoa, friendly alert. I got a great auto rate out of that guy. You know, now I have a wonderful hybrid, slate blue, cream interior. <laughs> he was so nice. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. TBT, the 2019 single elimination winner take all $2 million prize tournament is brought to you by Puma Basketball. And we go. Let's go, give them go over three. Stop giving them go over three. Get back on defense. Our fifth minute. Let's move the ball a bit more. All right? Let's move the ball a bit more. Trying to work the ball, huh? Come on. Let's go. 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 Get back on D and rebound. Those were the two biggest takeaways. And you know, he you can tell he has a real sense of urgency because first of all, he knows there's a ton of time checking the ball there in a hostile environment. And you just never know when this Ram Nation team is going to erupt offensively. They're not going to keep playing in, with these lulls. Eventually, they're going to make a run, like you said. And he wants his group to be able to withstand it. Joseph Katuka, who played at GW in the A-10. Into the game for Team DRC. This is him on the rebound. Threw it away, threw it away from Ford. Fias and Toyo, late whistle, but will go to the line. He definitely got fouled. And Toyo was wondering why the officials underneath the goal didn't call. And having a good laugh with Garrick Shannon. This is an obvious foul. Push in the back and on the arm. Shannon is saying it's up high. <laughs> and the trip to Chicago. Everybody who's earned their trip so far has really had to earn it. There's been no easy paths to Chicago. It's what, four teams stamped their tickets last week. Three, Three one number seats, ones. Yeah, yep. and an eight. And an eight. The eight we had down in Memphis, that Jackson, Tennessee team. One of two for Toyo. He's had a big second half, all seven of his points. Full court pressure now. A little havoc, you might say. And Theus nearly disrupting, but they get it to trap. Appropriately named. Yeah, that's right. Opposing player. For, for the moment. <laughs> Shot clock down to six. Roach trying to lock down. Speedy oh, Smith got Katuka. Second but the chance. offensive glass. Smith got his pocket picked. Williams and Lewis. Serving up Toyo, here they come. Now that was Havoc. Most of the Seagull Center coming to its feet. Great delivery by Jaquan Lewis. Oh, he traveled. And Ford has to spend a timeout, dribbled into a corner. 
This is the run we were talking about, Matt. And look at Toyo, watch him go up and get that. Great pass, right on the money. On time delivery by Jaquan Lewis. The building is alive and well. Six turnovers this quarter by Team DRC. And all in all, 12 of them on the game. Usually Ram Nation a little bit more opportunistic, only 10 points off of those 12 turnovers tonight. Yeah, that's a credit to playing against professionals. They know how to get back. They know they're not going to let you just leak out. Even when you steal the ball, they are guys hustling back. There's $2 million on the line. Nothing easy. The energy level has picked up considerably from Ram Nation. Look at the rotation. Ford, and that's one way to quell it. That guy has been a thorn in their proverbial sides. 14 points, 6 of 8 shooting for Quincy Ford. 17, but a match. Jaquan Lewis. This Ram Nation team, if they're nothing, they are resilient. They keep coming at you. And Lewis, quick hands. Right around Smith, counted, plus the foul. On their way back. Early on, I thought we had a power outage in this building, but the electricity is back on. These people are on their feet thanks to plays like this. And Jaquan Lewis has been a spark. What a steal. That was as clean as they come. And then to finish an obvious foul there. They had to call it. Can't complete the three-point play. But the energy is back for the guys of Ram Nation. So we've seen this movie. But this time they double and make Clanton give it up. Lewis with good help. Shot clock down to 10. Brown lost the basketball. Lewis has been big in this run. What? And rising is oh. Roach. Oh. Jaquan Lewis has now scored or assisted on each of the last nine Ram Nation points. Jaquan Lewis is what we call a catalyst igniting this team right now. But the young legs, Kenny Brown slips, no trip, great pass. But look at the takeoff and the glide to the hoop. That was a terrific athletic play by Roach. That felt like one of those mid-air decisions. Am I going to dunk this? He no, thought about it. No, he I'm definitely not. thought about it, but that would have been quite a glide to the rim. But he needed the two points. And he converted. And here comes the full court pressure once again. And this crowd. Shot clock is off as we wind down the third quarter. Kenny Brown, and there's the contact from Roach. 7-0 Ram Nation run in the last 43 seconds. Not, they're not in the bonus foul, just the four person, the four team foul. Third one on Roach. He's their second leading scorer tonight. What an addition he's been. He's brought energy too. But he and Jaquan Lewis in this last five minutes have given Joey Rodriguez a lot in terms of defensive energy and converting that energy into points. Ford inside 10 seconds. Sets it up. Spurlock with an air ball. Got Still time. a chance. Roach. And gave it away. Brown to beat the horn. Yes, oh. sir. Oh. Closing the third quarter. Oh, Kenny Brown. And back up two possessions goes Team DRC. The youngster Roach with a tough, bad decision to close the quarter. We're headed to the fourth here in Richmond. Well, my 
parents met in Texas. Then they moved to Washington. They had me at Fort Knox. They keep all the gold there. After that, we moved to Georgia for a couple years. Then we spent some time in Korea. Mmm, seaweed snack. Yeah. And now we live here for good. Our members call many places home. Oh, lots of questions. So we made owning a home easier. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Kenny Brown with what was a big three to close out the third quarter and give Team DRC a six-point lead here at the Richmond Regional. This is a tough decision by Kerwin Roach. You're trying to make a play. We've seen some on-time deliveries, but it's DRC who's asking, what can Brown do for you? This may have propelled them into the next round. Still a whole quarter to play, but what a back-breaking three that was because instead of shooting for a potential tie game going into the fourth and all the momentum in the world, they give up the turnover and a free three points from Kenny Brown, and he takes advantage. Starting the fourth quarter. Winner moves on to get the web. The Richmond alumni team. Not you, know, you know Ram Nation wants that. Oh, they want that, and maybe that's the problem. You're looking at that game, and you're looking at overseas elite, but you forgot about this one. Speedy Smith says, hey, don't forget about me. And all of a sudden, you're down nine points, but plenty of time. You have to start thinking about Elam ending scenarios, five minutes of basketball. You want to stay as close as you can to give yourself a chance if you're Ram Nation. If you're DRC right now, you have a ton of momentum, two straight three-pointers, with really without the Ram Nation team touching the basketball. Well, the good news is, with the level of athlete that you have and the way that you force turnovers, nine points in a few minutes, and not the toughest thing in the world. Yeah, but you hate to be in that position, that's for sure. Quincy Ford, again, making a positive impact on this game. Seven of nine from the field. He's got seven rebounds, eight rebounds now. 21 minutes, and that was a big offensive rebound right there. Brown with seven on the shot clock, got it blocked, and Clanton couldn't follow it in. Still a 6-0 DRC run. Toyo having to climb the ladder and foul. Great no-look pass by Kerwin Roach. It's nice to have long guys who can jump. Absolutely. I used to think I was a bad alley-oop thrower when I played. I realized I just didn't play with guys that long and they could jump. <laughs> you didn't have anybody like that. No. Joey Rodriguez will have to try to get this group over the hump here. They got their work cut out for them. Free throws here will certainly help. And Justin Toyo makes the first one. All of Toyo's 10 points in this half. Five missed free throws to this point, though, for Ram Nation. Joey is cool, though. I mean, he doesn't look panicked at all. I'm sure it, it's, your heart's got to be beating a little bit because you got all these people here, a lot of expectations. People certainly wanting to see an overseas elite Ram. When I say people, I mean me. <laughs> wanting to see a, a matchup on Sunday. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen the way things are going with this team, DRC team. And this is what we thought earlier today when we started really evaluating this DRC team. They, they have talent, and they certainly are not afraid to come in here and try to steal one. Told you in, in conversations with GM Danny Long this week that we had, felt like they could win this, and that will certainly help from Spurlock. He was 0 for 4 from the field, 0 for 3 from 3 until that shot. Theus can't match. And they're back to double digits. And three minutes and change away from the Elam ending. You really have to start thinking about that if you're Ram Nation, too. Try to get that thing under five, in my opinion, gives you a chance. Clanton backing oh, yeah. down. It's just too easy oh. in between the double. Big boy pants. And they tried to go small now so they could speed the game up, Joey Rodriguez. But great recognition by Coach Rogers Cromarty to throw it in there to the big fella Clanton. Timeout on the floor, and if you want to think about how the scope of one play 
can change the remainder of the game. That Brown three, you end up down six to start the quarter. You're back now to your largest deficit of your Ram Nation. It absolutely changed the complexion of this game. One play. And, and no, team, no basketball game or football game or anything comes down to one play. But that one moment certainly dictates how the rest of the game is played out. Yeah, the difference of maybe if, if you're Roach and you don't throw it away, maybe you at least get a shot. You're walking into the fourth quarter down by a possession. Yep. And it's dead. They start by knocking down a three, and it's grown now to 12. Not insurmountable by any means, just really difficult. Well, you have, in my opinion, three minutes to get this thing down to five points. A 7-0 run is what's called for here. There's Theus right out of the stoppage. You could probably get yourself six or seven more points, maybe more. Oh, yeah, you, you need stops. That's the big one. But you got to keep them at this point. How do you keep Clinton out of the paint? Just no answer. Everybody under the basket somehow didn't score. And Brown short, but got his own uh, rebound. Rebounds. And now they wisely bring it out. I thought Brown should have brought it out. Speedy Smith. And that an ill-advised attempt. Probably. But Clanton getting it right back. Ram Nation wanted a travel call. Forward instead, open in the corner. Rozell with a big box out. And Smith right in front of us. Says, was, was it? I don't know, Tip Scarborough. You make the call. I didn't think it was a foul, considering what we have been watching here tonight in terms of reaching. But he did lose it, and when you lose it, that's when the whistle is blown, right? He stopped right in front of the table. He wanted to know. <laughs> I had to be honest. I didn't think so, but I figured I always defer to my analyst when it comes to that. <laughs> that's a foul. Bucket. Williams score it and going to the line. Back to single digits. And they needed it. Right to work. Bump absorbs the contact. I've seen that floater a billion times at this stage of me watching that guy play. Just a terrific ball play. We thought the way Reggie Williams started tonight, he might be headed toward 30. And instead, at eight of their first 10, seven since. But picked a good time to get back into the scoring column. You just got to start thinking about striking distance. And right now, they're down seven. I said they need to be down five to have a chance. They're getting there. They still got their work cut out. But there's been some big shots being made by this DRC team. And Clanton, honestly, that's the better move because he's not a good free throw shooter. Yep, foul. Hacker Clanton. It doesn't quite have the same ring. <laughs> no? Hack, hack the shack. Oh, yeah, because it rhymes. So, Blank, Hank and the Clanton, that doesn't work either, does it? Nonetheless, he's one for three from the line. And it has been an adventure. Now one for four. Yeah, normally we get numbers on some of the stats that these guys put up from the line in their respective leagues. Yeah. Keith Clanton's numbers this year were 13%. I thought you were going to tell me they refused to send them because they were so bad. Uh, over in Greece. <laughs> and I don't think it's a typo. 13? 1-3? One, 1-3. Three? One, three. Good. Night. I'm hacking him the rest of the game. Especially in Elam. Seriously, you need to start thinking about that. Toyo to work, but left it up there. That's a tough miss for Justin Toyo. It really was. That could have brought them within five. Ram Nation on the ropes in its home building. Definitely need to stop here. We're less than a minute away from the four-minute mark. Ford and Lewis fouled on the rebound. That's actually a big one because it's the fourth team foul on DRC. So now the next one, they will shoot bonus. And it's just one foul for Ram Nation. One team foul. 
biggest possession of the evening now for Ram Nation. You don't necessarily need a three, but if you get one, it certainly won't hurt. Williams thinking about it. They need the offensive glass, can't get it. But they Ooh, give back. it right back. Threw it away from Patterson. Don't need a three here. Woo. Somehow got to Rozelle. Toyo. And oh. going up top. Oh. Right on top Woo. of Ford. Grown man basketball right there. Justin Toyo. Travel. And the oh. travel. Here oh they God. come again. Matt Martucci. They are right where they need to be, Ram Nation. Said they needed to get it under five. If they can score here and get it under three or two, then they're in, in great shape. Take a look at Justin Toyo. The bungees with authority. And that was a costly turnover for DRC. They are not out of the woods by any stretch. Five-point lead, obviously you, you, you'll take that. You'd rather be up five than down five. But there's a lot of basketball left to be played in this Elam ended. Lewis to the lane. Buckets. And within a possession. So now, DRC is trying to let this clock go under four minutes and then call a timeout. Now they called one right here. So it, it is a 3.59. That was deliberate. No sense throwing it in and maybe turn it over again. Rather, get yourself to Elam with the lead, but it is tenuous. 7-0 run for Ram Nation. And a two-minute, 40-second scoring drought for Team DRC. Elam ending is coming up. See? Romance isn't dead. But it is here. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Don't hate like their trip. Book yours with Hotels.com and get rewarded basically everywhere. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are either of you here? Hotels.com. Be there, do that, get rewarded. Elam ending time, wrapping up round one here in Richmond. Always at the first stoppage, under four minutes, or right at four minutes of the fourth quarter. We set a target score, leading team score, and then add eight, and the first team to get there moves on. And would move on to a matchup tomorrow night with the Webb, the Richmond alumni team. Justin Toyo has had a big second half, all of his points. But now it's a matter of if he and his teammates can actually close out Plus 11 for them, plus 8 for Team DRC to try and get to round 2 in the regional semi. And Kerwin Roach was big too. He's on the bench now. He's 4 for 5 with 9 points. The youngster from Texas. But here we go, Tooch. We said they had to get it within 5 to have a chance. 5 straight misses and no points in over 3 minutes for DRC. Here comes the double. They can give it up. Shot clock inside 10 with Speedy Smith. Listen to this crowd. Over top of Williams and a big shot to start this. They're five away. Both of his threes in the second half. Kenny Smith, Speedy Smith is the truth. And he showed it right there. Lewis and gets fouled, he'll go to the line. There's a reason he was voted Conference USA Player of the Year. Because he's a big shot taker and a big shot maker. More importantly though, he gets your offense going. And that was a huge shot. Lewis, big miss. Sixth one of the game for Ram Nation. So now it's not about the clock, though. It's about stops and scores. 
So that's actually a good thing for Ram Nation because if they were down by five late in the game, DRC could run the clock out. But now they have to play regular basketball, which makes Elam ending so special. Feed Clinton and the drop off Ford. He'll go to the line. That's smart though, to make them earn it. Clinton did a great job of giving that up. He knew they were looking to send him to the free throw line. He wanted no parts of that. Quincy Ford has not been there tonight. Shot under 66% in Belgium this year. There you go. And they trade a miss from Lewis for a miss from Ford. And once again, they're still five points away. If they get within three, even four points, I'm thinking about fouling the rest of the time. And he does get him to within four. The Ram Nation is still ten points away. And that's the way you have to think of it. Though. Lewis right to the basket. Wow. And they couldn't get the tap. Lid on the hoop at the worst time. But again, it's not about the clock. Stops, scores. Stops, scores. Now, if they get a basket here, though, now that's the bonus. They're in the, just the third foul, so they're not in the bonus yet. So not a bad foul by Lewis. Clanton, good double, but found Ford. Second chance. Shot clock did not reset. Ford again. Down to seven. Smith again thinking about another clutch shot. Oh. And out of bounds. Matt, if I'm looking at this from the perspective of Joey Rodriguez, I'm not thinking about catching or tying the game like you normally would. You just have to think about that target score, and it's about getting to it before them. So what you need to do is make it tough for these last four points that you have. That's the only points you have to give up. You have to make sure that they get no more field goals. If they're, if they're going to score, make Clanton be the guy who score from the free throw line. So I'm saying I'm following the rest of this game. And then getting offensive scores until I get at least past them. I mean, that's really the, the formula to me. And I wouldn't suggest doing that every game, but Clanton with this 13% overseas free throw average coming in here, and he hasn't been great tonight, one for five. I'm going to put the pressure on him. Some nervous fans indeed here in the Siegel Center. Alan, reason to be nervous. They yeah. haven't lost to anybody but overseas elite coming into tonight. That is correct. They certainly haven't lost on this floor at TBT. They've gotten to play here last year as well and cruised to Atlanta. The structure of the tournament was a little different last year. Quarterfinals each of the last two. Super 16 back in 2016. Williams unabated to the basket. Think of it as pickup, man. It's just score and then get a stop and try to score again. It's a pickup game right now. Reggie Williams is a great pickup player. They have a foul to give if they so choose. And if you're a DRC, you want to keep going to this guy, but if they're not going to foul him. Smith after Clayton again. drew in the again. double. His third one of the half. Again, and he, he let that fly, and I knew it was in. That's a great shot. And that's what you didn't want if you're Ram Nation. And now you're teetering on elimination. Smith, Good night. and they dump it off. Spurlock and Ram Nation goes down on its home floor here in Richmond. Team DRC shocking this Richmond region. And that's just the beginning. This team is for real. They have staying power. They withstood a big punch in the mouth from Ram Nation. 
but they were able to hang on. Give them a ton of credit. Well coached and well played game. And Speedy Smith was the guy who delivers the package and Spurlock sends them packing. Well, what a start for Team DRC. Kenneth Speedy Smith out of Louisiana Tech. And Ram Nation with an early exit. So the seventh seed moves on. Team DRC. Their GM, Danny Long, had told us he thought they had staying power. He, 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 he knew it. He knew it. And they do. That's a good basketball team right there. Tyshawn Patterson putting it, up, putting it up on the board. And they'll take on the web tomorrow. And what's our second regional semifinal? Round two. When we come back, We'll put some final thoughts on this one. Team DRC advances. It's tough to quit smoking cold turkey. So Chantix can help you quit slow turkey. Along with support, Chantix is proven to help you quit. With Chantix, you can keep smoking at first and ease into quitting. Chantix reduces the urge so when the day arrives, you'll be more ready to kiss cigarettes goodbye. When you try to quit smoking, with or without Chantix, you may have nicotine withdrawal symptoms. Stop Chantix and get help right away if you have changes in behavior or thinking, aggression, hostility, depressed mood, suicidal thoughts or actions, seizures, new or worse heart or blood vessel problems, sleepwalking, or life-threatening allergic and skin reactions. Decrease alcohol use. Use caution driving or operating machinery. Tell your doctor if you've had mental health problems. The most common side effect is nausea. Quit smoking, slow turkey. Talk to your doctor about Chantix. Wrapping up here in our Richmond Regional, Team DRC shocking the folks who came out here tonight to the Siegel Center, knocking off Ram Nation in its own building, 73-64, to head on now to the second round of the Regional Semifinal. Matt Martucci, Tip Scarborough, and our man of the hour, <laughs> Kenneth Speedy Smith. Did you realize, by the way, that coming into the second half, you hadn't made a field goal, and then pretty much every big shot uh, late in this game, you're the one to knock it down. How, how big were some of those shots you knocked out? Uh, I had to make up for my turnover some way, somehow. <laughs> uh, I was really careless with the ball tonight. But my pe my teammates picked me up so much. Um, they know when you're a point guard, you have the ball in your hands a lot of time. So it's just going to happen. So uh, I just had my faith in God, and I just tried to step up and, you know, do what I need to do for the team to win. Now, this is a hostile environment, but not one time did you really look rattle as a group talk about the belief that you guys had that you could come in here and beat the host team in the first round well I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know I played for Mike White so uh, <laughs> any of this pressure I'm, I'm kind of familiar with um, but but what our team is is a bunch of pros who are underrated um, everybody on our team plays with a chip and coming into this you know we we, we felt like it was a chip we, we didn't really much look at the seating we just knew we had a game tonight at 8 30. Um, but I knew a lot of guys on the opposite end of the team, and I had a lot of respect for them. But also, I had a guy who gave my respect too. Your feeling coming into to the fourth quarter after your teammate Kenny Brown makes maybe the play of the basketball game late, comes up with that turnover, knocks down the three. It was big. It was big. And Kenny is one of the most explosive guards I've ever met. You know, and and he he stayed with it the whole night. He, he, he's a fighter. He's a, and he's a winner. What's the mentality of this group just as a whole? One game at a time. One game at a time. Stay focused. One quarter at a time is one minute at a time. And he did the key. Well, the next one, you, you get the web tomorrow. What do you know about those guys? I have a best friend on that team, Justin Harper. So uh, they he's have a good a, He's they, a good one. Yeah, yeah, really good one. Uh, they have an explosive guard. But I don't think it's much about what we're going against is who we are within ourselves. You know, we have to have that confidence edge. 
that we had to come out and, you know, hit them first because actually this is a home game for them too. <laughs> well, short memory and, and no conscience, so you, you move on quickly. But yeah. you get a little bit to enjoy this one. Go enjoy it and uh, appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, we, we ain't going to enjoy it. The <laughs> celebration was over when we put that thing over there. Now we get ready for the next one. That's right. I appreciate right. you guys having me yeah, out man. here, man. Good job. Thank you. Start scouting speedy. for thank tomorrow. You. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. you guys take speedy care. Smith with nine second half points, all on perimeter shots. And uh, they move on and take on the web, who ends up advancing over Green Machine. So Team DRC in the web tomorrow, and then Overseas Elite and Best Virginia in the first semifinal. That will do it for us here for round one. Here in Richmond, for my broadcast partner, Tim Scarborough, our producer, Shelby Wilson, statistician, John Tobias, and our fantastic crew, Matt Martucci, sang so long. Salt Lake City still coming up. Team for debt at Challenge ALS. We're back tomorrow at 5 Eastern.